two minute warning. Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. My name is Marco, your host of the Bleed Big Blue podcast. And the Giants officially have fired head coach Pat Shermer. And here is the official statement from the Giants. Steve and I had many extensive discussions about the state of the Giants. This morning we made the very difficult decision that it would be the best interest of the franchise to relieve Pat Shermer of his duties. The past three seasons have been a disappointment for the organization and for the fans. And that was from John Mara. Shermer went 9-23 in his two years as the head coach of the Giants. Oddly enough, that is the exact same record that he had when he was the coach of the Cleveland Browns. A lot of people were reporting that it was 50-50, that he was going to get fired. There was speculation based on how the Giants performed against the Eagles yesterday that that would be a make it or break it moment. But the handwriting was on the wall and Shermer didn't go out without fighting. Taking a few jabs at Dave Gettleman, he said for some of the young guys who on most teams would be a, a backup or more likely practice squad players, that they were frontline players for the Giants. And in yesterday's post game, questions came up about his future. He said he wasn't sure that he didn't have anything scheduled with the Giants. He said the Giants would be in a better situation going in 2020 and wouldn't have the obstacles that he had. They wouldn't have to deal with all the dead cap space. They would have money for free agency. They have the fourth pick in the draft and a young nucleus to work with. All shots taken directly at Dave Gettleman. So the search for a new coach starts today, and the hot name out there for the Giants is Matt Rule. We did a video on him earlier on in the week, and I will link that up. Rumor has it that he is very wary of Dave Gettleman, so this could be a work in progress. And speaking of Dave Gettleman, there has been a little bit of a back and forth. Multiple outlets reporting very different things. It seemed to be 50-50 on whether he was going to keep his general manager position. Adam Schefter puts out a tweet saying that the GM spot will be fluid. Ian Rappaport says that he's safe. So the two prominent newsbreakers had contrary stories. But it was all clarified after the Giants put out their statement, really backing Dave Gettleman saying he put together this young team, he drafted Saquon, Daniel Jones is in place, so he has the backing of ownership. I'm not sure if that's the major overhaul that Steve Tisch was looking for. Unless something crazy happens in tomorrow's press conference, I expect Dave Gettleman to be the GM of the Giants going forward. I think it's bad practice to fire the coach and keep the GM. The Giants have made this mistake prior. I think if one goes, both has to go. But it looks like Gettleman will be able to pick his second coach. And let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Are the Giants making the correct move? So I'll talk to you guys in the comments section. If you want to see more videos just like this, please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. This way when we do a live show or we put out a new video, you get the alert and you're in the know. I love interacting with you guys and keeping this channel growing, so please don't be afraid to like and share. If you would like to help support the channel, we have a line of merch out, and you can check out our other social media, affiliates, and all that. I left one link in the description down below, so it should make it easy for you. I will see you guys in the comments section, and also I'll leave you with two videos that if you want to check something out, it's on the end screen. Peace.